Oh, welcome to Classic Car Cave. This is uh, this 1935 uh, Citroen, or 35, they're about 35, 37, something like that. Um, unfortunately, uh, my jig was buggered by the people that had it at the XK150 on it. You can see the damage that they've done. The welding wasn't great. I didn't do the welding. I bought the jig and then I modified it, but I didn't modify this, and you can see it's split. And you can see the angle that that's at, supposed to be straight, and it's also bent. God knows what they did with it. I think they pulled it with some kind of ropes and, and chains or something. It, you know, it's unbelievable. It's very, very heavy, thick steel. They managed to jack damage it. Um, so I have to repair that one. And this one here, you can see, again, is pushed in. They pulled it with something, or they've towed, tried to tow it across. The wheels are meant to go on hard ground, you know, like concrete or but not big heavy rocks and stones or earth and that's probably what they've dragged it through so anyway uh, there she is so what we intend to do now is uh, Amir's away on, on his time off tomorrow so I'll take the radiator off take the engine gearbox everything out we're going to leave the running gear on it obviously the wheels and tyres will come off and I'll mount it to this jig once I've repaired them both uh, mount it to this jig so we can rotate it 360 uh, and then we'll sandblast everything in place but we'll take the brakes apart there is no hydraulics because it's all cable brakes so there's no problem there and we can do the backs of the drums and everything in one shot to be honest i don't really want to start pulling out shackle pins and things like that it, i don't know how many years have been in there 60 70 years who knows uh what we'll do with the diff is we'll just drain the diff so that um the oil doesn't run down the half shafts and uh, you know, uh, there should be seals on them, but uh, I don't want the oil running down the half shaft, so we'll just drain the oil out of it. That fuel tank, uh, I'll probably take off. I don't, I don't think we'll use it. We'll probably use something smaller, but we'll keep it. And whoever gets passed on to can do maybe do something with it. But I think it's the original tank by the looks. Yeah, so that's the project for me for the next uh, couple of weeks uh, to get this ready for sandblasting and then what we'll do then is i'm going to rent a big industrial sandblaster machine which will go in that back garage we've got all these black covers here and lots of uh, what used to be in the, in the main garage used to be, we used to have black sheet and the whole 300 square meters was covered in black uh, plastic which we did all our work on to save the floor which it did do so we'll put that on the floor and it will catch all the sand uh, when, after we sandblast them we can clean it up and use it again so we've got quite a lot to do there's the whole chassis there's these two front wings here you can see there's one here another one there, in fact the headlights are still on it we're not going to repair anything we're just going to sandblast it um, we're, we'll, I think we'll do that massive piston as well so this, we, we, I think we're going to rent it for four days so this is a piston I got from a scrapyard which is, look at that, brilliant isn't it uh, yeah, there's the side steps and the front grill and obviously the cab is inside here and there's a bit of flooring which needs to be recreated but we'll just sandblast the lot because it's industrial but I need to hire a big, a big ass compressor that you know the type you use on a building, on a building construction site for a hammer drill or, or a roadworks and that will sit in here and we'll pipe it straight into there where the mission, where the sandblaster is and that's the plan in the next three weeks so if he goes tomorrow comes back in two weeks so in three weeks time i'll get it rented and hopefully we can get everything done and we'll put it into a white epoxy primer which we normally do and do any repairs we need to do uh, then paint it black and then start working on the other stuff but at least it'll be rust free um, and some primer it doesn't matter if the white primer gets shitty it's not the point it's just to cover it and stop it getting rusty again so this is the next project and hopefully I'll know about the XK in the next two weeks or so we will see an ongoing saga of the Jaguar XK 150 so this is uh, the next day uh, you've seen a bit of film before where it was all together so take the engine and gearbox out I'm going to make a stand for that um, basically everything is stripped off it 
the only part that we know should this actually should come off the top of the gearbox for some reason it looks like it's been tack welded on the edges even though it's bolted on these flanges so we'll take that off anyway but we're gonna sandblast it now the way it is <clears throat> so what originally I was going to do was make up um, this is a, a rotisserie jig I've got that will turn 360 it's got bars that go across for different cars and originally what I was going to do was actually make something but to be honest for the amount of time it'll take to make that it's probably uh, easier to roll the car in there like or roll the chassis in like it is onto the matting in this next in this wooden garage behind me in here and then what we'll do is we'll use this uh, engine crane and lift the chassis and lift it up on its side so basically we'll leave the wheels in place chock it up chain it up so it can't fall on us and we can do the underside of the chassis in one shot and uh, any sides bits whatever we want and then basically drop it back down and do the top bit um, what we will do is obviously take off these uh, front uh, front brake cables and rear brake cables. These are brand new. These are from an XK150, some spare ones I had, and we've made it fit. And the ones on the front are the original ones, but they seem to work. So it's all cable brakes on this. There's no hydraulics on it whatsoever. So obviously what we'll do is I'll take these handbrake, all well, these cables off, probably take the shoes off, um, and then we can sandblast inside when all the shoes and everything are out of the way and do all the back plates we've drained the diff so no oil should go down onto the down the half shafts um, yeah and then we can just sandblast it and then we're gonna uh, get it all painted up we'll, we'll so do the sandblast then but we'll put rubber sheeting on the floor and on the back part there <clears throat> all this stuff that's in here will be out we'll go in the, the garage next to me now this mini this uh, this old shower cabinet that we use for sandblasting uh, everything basically um, even the compressor will put outside because we won't need it and there's the cab there like I said but unfortunately the bottom of it is in a very very poor condition there's not a lot left and obviously the roof and the back there is no back on it it's the doors that are basically supporting it so I'll get this cab put up back up in line and build all the new feet for it and then take the cab off and, and uh, build all the pieces we need. So it needs a complete rear of a cab made for it and that will probably be made, we'll probably, I'll probably make the corners first from top to bottom and then make a one sheet back but I'll do it obviously with a bead roller so it's got strengthening beads in it otherwise it'll, it'll be too floppy. So this is where it'll be done in here and uh, the place can be It'll get very, very manky in here, quite dusty. So we'll just take everything out, but because I've got to rebuild this roof, do it now, get all the dirty jobs out of the way. We're even gonna try and uh, do this uh, Mark III mini shell. Depends on how we get on. So I'll let you know. One of the next jobs is to, <clears throat> as I say, I've got, a, I've got a mini engine stand there. Uh, if you just sit, we've got these, you just see that the wheels on it are big enough. So I'm gonna rework that so I can put the engine on it so we can move it around. But I want to take the gearbox off and um, check the clutch and pressure plate and so on and so forth. And obviously we want to sandblast the bits we can um, and get that done. And hopefully get everything done in one shot. I'm, I'm hoping that four days of a, a industrial compressor rental and the sandblasting gear will be enough. I think it will. Um, because there's quite a powerful unit compared to what I've got. I mean, stuff like this is fine, these Clark things, and you might think, well, that's a bit of a strange one. But it was originally, obviously, that front that you can see now, which is vertical, was obviously at an angle like that, where the door was. In fact, it was in line with the door as it went across. But I could hardly get anything in it, so I ended up extending it using the original uh, glass, so I could actually get an E-type door or, or something bigger in it.